Hi guys, from Whiskey here, I'm Rickel, and today we have the latest edition from Lefroig, at least their latest uh, cartridges. It's uh, called, this year it's called Warehouse Number no. 1. It's been fully matured in Maker's Mark X Bourbon casks and uh, yeah, lying in the storage of Warehouse Number no. 1. You know, the one next to the water, and you have all the influence from the sea. We'll see. Uh, it's bottled at 52.2% ABV and it's unshield filtered, but with the frog you never know if it's uh, colored or not, but uh, we can assume it's not colored because it's quite quite light. Um, yeah, that's what we know. So uh, let's go. On the nose. Oh. Beautiful Lafroy Pete smoke coming right at you, just the way we like it. It's uh, this it's a first fill uh, Maker's Mark bourbon cast, so uh, quite a lot of influence from the cast here. You have the pit smoke, the vanilla, some uh, some honey as well. I would say not so much citrus maybe that you would expect, but on the main character here is. Um, peat smoke, vanilla, some honey, some toffee, can you smell white pepper or pepper? Uh, some pepper as well. A little bit uh, flowery maybe, in a pleasant way. I love it when whiskey is flowery. Oh, it's beautiful nose. Let's try it. On the palate. Mm. This is classic Lafroy. You have the vanilla, some sea salt, maybe some fudge or toffee. Oh, and the peat smoke, of course. Yeah, this is uh, the 10 year old on steroids for sure. It's um, it's better than the 10 year old, it's better than the castering 10 year old. Of course it's more money but I paid, uh, what did I pay with the uh, with shipment from Lafroig I paid about 100 and 120 euro I think it was. Mm. I can't stop sip with this one because it's it's great. You have the honey as well. I mean some nut. Hazelnut. No, maybe. Oh, some nut of okay, some kind. I can't put my finger on the nut, but the vanilla, the honey, the peat smoke, the sea salt, a little bit salty. Some toffee note as well. And some nut. Stay there, okay. Ah, this is beautiful stuff. Um, I tried all the cartridges through the years, except the 30 year old, but all the regular ones, if you might say so. And this one is up there. Uh, I think it's not cracking my top five. Uh, I have a video if you want to check it out uh, of the, my top five cartridges releases, uh, but it's just outside the top five. I was it's, it's the uh, it's the sixth, sixth place for sure. Uh, top six for me. This cartridges they done it really well. Um, it's uh, I think I have uh, on the fifth place. I have uh, port and wine, so that was a really good one as well. Uh, I should give it a mark as well on the hundred scale. I think I gave the port and wine ninety one points. So this one has to be. Uh, this one has to be ninety pointer. Yeah, I give it 90 points on the 100 scale. That's how good it is. So I think it's still available at Lefroy Distillery. You, you can order from Lefroy. Uh, beautiful stuff. So this one you should really pick up. It's if you if you love like or love love Lefroy, you're gonna love this one. I promise you. So like the video, thumbs up. For more videos, please subscribe. Till next time. Cheers.